a Hedgehog file and today I'm going to show you a review on all the Master Swords I used to own from back then to nowadays. The one in the middle is the one I use mostly, so let's begin. Yep, here they are. Sorry if it's a bit blurry. Oh, there we go, there we go. Now, um, when I was young, I used to love Zol so much that I had to paint a Master Sword for myself. I think it was like when I was like 12 or 13 years old or 14. Four, 12 and 14 years old, that makes sense. Um, I hand painted it. I used to put black tape on this to make it look like the actual sword, but I didn't pay much attention to the handle of the sword because I was looking at the Link to the Past handle, not the actual other Master Sword handles. And this and this blade looks nothing like a Zelda blade. Well, it kind of does, but who knows. Then about a few years later, I bought this thing, which looked cool, actually. It was actually the Zelda Link to the Past Master Sword and Zelda 1 White Sword, like, stabbed into a Zelda Hylian Shield. You can take the Master Sword and this sword off, but I... I I only take them off only for special occasions like zombie apocalypse maybe because these are real metal and this is really really pointy so you might end up stabbing someone I don't know maybe it's just me and uh, my only complaint is it would have been good if it was bigger like two master swords really big had their own sheaths and the Hylian shield you would like carry around, but don't worry, I'll I'll buy a Hylian shield. For, I'll buy a Hylian shield at the same store where I got this one and uh, the next one. I'll buy a Hylian shield for myself. It may not look like that one, but it'll look like the one from Ocarina of Time or something. I don't know. Next up, we got the Master Sword itself. Now. Most of you guys own like a blue or purple or black or Link to the Past color realistic Master Sword. Like the ones based off of the games. They're like really sharp and realistic. Um, but mine, mine is just foam. Really heavy foam. Well, not really heavy, but just foam. And I like it. It's safe. Um... Yeah, this is not too heavy, actually. The uh, handle doesn't have that greenish area. The uh, bottom looks that looks like a dick is a um, the style from A Link to the Past. No, wait. No, not A Link to the Past. Ocarina of Time, sorry. And uh, this part looks like the one from Zelda Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword mighty accurate. Um, there are some flaws. Like, like, the, um, the color is the style of Link to the Past and Wind Waker's color and I think Phantom Hourglass's color? I don't know. I haven't played Phantom Hourglass yet. I played it before, but I never got a chance to beat the game, but I don't know. I just played only halfway through. But the good news is, the blade looks exactly like the one from Zelda, a bit, and you still got that nice Triforce symbol on it, like in every Zelda game's Master Sword, which is kind of cool. Now, like I said, I now uh, this thing is foam. And I said on that one, I would get, like, a Hylian shield for it. The Hylian shield is cheap, and it's made of the same stuff this Master Sword is. And I'm going to buy it. I hope no one else buys it, because I really want it. And yeah. It's strange. Um, I forgot what store I got this from, so I, um, without further ado, if you, um, I don't know... I remember buying it at Coquitlam Center, but I forgot which store, so, um, if you, uh, guys, he's, he's, like to see more reviews, then I'll do a review on more, I'll do the review on, like, the Zelda Hylian Shield and shit like that. 
Now, um, I, I uh, can't review, like, my version of the Luigi's Mansion Poltergeist yet, because I'm still working on it. I, yeah, still working on it. Well, this, that's it for this review. This is a dedication to my friends out there who play Zelda, etc. See you all later.